Hello everybody, how the devil are you? This is the first episode in, se well, it's season 5, the first episode of our new playthrough of uh, RimWorld. And starting out, we have five characters. We've got Oz, Alfred Skips, Lord Cucumber, Ash and Crow, and Reinstein. Um, yeah, last season kind of ended dramatically, shall we say. Lots of infighting, which hopefully on this series or this season I can... Uh, mitigate or try and try not to allow any of that to happen but you never know what's going to happen randy random is a fearsome foe so a bit of um, introductory information the world we're in is here i believe we've spawned right down here um and we've got year round growing this time whoop whoop but one serious problem that we're going to have to um overcome because we're in the arid shrubla shrubland is average summer temperatures you can see they're at 28.2 degrees um, so it could be problematic problematic in a different sense to the last playthrough. So the last playthrough was mainly we were dealing with the cold temperatures. So this playthrough, we're going to be probably boiling alive. Um, let me just confirm to you what skill level I'm playing on. Uh, choose Storyteller. So you can see we're on Intense and we're on Randy Random. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so I've made a little plan about the base that I want to build. So initially I thought we'd build up here, um, but then I thought, no, there'd probably be bugs, probably be bugs. And um, in, if we learnt one thing from the last playthrough, it's that we don't want to be moving our base at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some wood here. And yeah, we want to build sort of our base around here like so now this is going to be the first building obviously um it's, it's going to improve as things go on uh, but we need we need to start with something so i'm trying to think of a sort of plan and here i've sort of laid out where i want beds to be so our people can have a nice comfortable place to sleep in for the night time so let's whack those in like so and also here i've got a temporary stockpile so I suppose you want to see the characters, really, don't you? Let's show you. We've got Oz, who's a masochistic hard worker, and I see him primarily being our researcher. Then we've got Alfred Skips, who's a slowpoke pyromaniac, but he's a careful shooter. And uh, I see him. Let's just show you here. Alfred Skips is really my constructor. Then we've got Lord Cucumber, who is also a good shooter. Uh, he's sanguine which means he's got permanent mood effect, which is great. And he's my gardener, as you can see, he's planting some lovely potatoes for me now. So I've got some potatoes growing, I've got some uh, rice growing there, and I've got some corn growing up there. Now I can make as many of these plots of land as I want, and hopefully we can just grow for, you know, uh, a lot. Uh, what I do want to do as well is plant a bunch of trees, because I think wood is going to be very important um, in this playthrough so i'm going to plant a bunch of no pine's not really going to work in hot temperatures is it let's get some birch maybe or some teak what does that look like yeah teak looks good okay so base is starting to be built we have got a miner who's oz oh yeah let's show you ash and crow ash and crow is in charge of cleaning currently but then he's going to do some constructing and there's ash and crow he's a masochistic too smart and abrasive, which is a bit annoying because that means he's probably going to rub people up the wrong way. But I don't want to, you know, cheat too much, so I didn't get too many, um, or I didn't re-roll the characters too much. Uh, I think you should really play as is, so basically, you know, if you get bad characters, then uh, too bad. But I did re-roll a little bit, trying to get more favourable characters. Uh, but the thing I really love about this game is playing on the different biomes, hence why I'm in the arid shrubland now. Because, I mean, for example, you've got gazelles now, which I never had on the, um, what was it, the boreal forest that we worked on last time. And we've got ostriches now. There's probably other animals around. What the hell is that? An iguana. Pretty damn cool. Let's have a little look at the iguana. It got looks like a boom rat. Cool. And some more gazelles and stuff. So if we need to hunt plenty of opportunities to hunt and um yeah so in terms of defenses i've started building my base up here i thought that would be the best place to build it because potentially i only need to build a wall across there and then we're sort of secure against enemies now we have built our uh our beds so now i'm going to go ahead and grab the research bench and whack that in down there 
and yes Oz is going to be researching like a phenom so yeah we need to build our research bench first alrighty cucumbers busy uh, growing stuff looks like Reinstein's picked up some agave I thought it was aloe vera when I first saw it but no it's agave or agave don't know quite how you pronounce that I'm gonna say agave agave um yeah so I'm quite uh, looking forward to this new playthrough it should be rather exciting and I think because early on you don't you generally the first raid you get is like one person with like one melee weapon or something so base defenses are not really like a priority right now but they will be very shortly um yeah good job ash and crow you get our research bench built oh construction failed whoops not Alf ash and crow alfred skips there you go you're very very passionate you're a strong amateur builder uh, a bit like a amateur DIY expert, shall we say? Um, so the third, I need to make a decision here. The first thing that I want to research, what would it be? Smithing? Let's go through it. Devil Strand? No. Stone cutting? That's a potential. Brewing? No. Complex clothing? No. Smithing? No. Drug production? No. Carpet making? No. And then electricity. So I think I'm going to go for the electricity first. That makes most sense. Uh, because then we can get powered turrets. We can get um, lights. We can get heaters or coolers whatever we may need now in terms of the animals we've got that we started off they were random so we've got harvey the cat uh, who can't really be trained which is ridiculous stupid cat i might end up slaughtering him if we need to <laughs> then we've got indy our husky dog who's now obedient which is great i'm going to train him to haul next i think uh, and we've also got a little terrier who is uh, trainable intelligence advanced but he can't be trained to rescue or haul. Too small? My dog's about the size of a Yorkshire Terrier and she could haul stuff. God damn it. All right, looks like it's our first night's sleep. One thing I do want to look at is how good are these beds? Awful shoddy, 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 and shoddy. Splendid. I think we can uh, agree that they're not particularly good in their rest effectiveness. 90% and the awful one, 85%. Right, so Reinstein's chosen the awful one. Good stuff, lad. All right, what do you think we need next? I, su I mean, everyone's mood. All right, let's yeah, let's check on Ash and Crow. How are you doing there, bro? So you're hungry. You've got a shared bedroom, which is obviously going to annoy you. Uh, we've got a little bit of pemmican left, but food is going to need to be made, I think. Well, then we're growing that. Maybe we can get enough ag agave to cover us. Let's see. Let's get some more of that picked out of the ground and we may be all right just living off of that until our first crops are ready there we go um because obviously if i get someone hunting then that's taking them away from another job uh looks like alfred skips and cucumber are now growing so alfred you may need some more jobs let's see how much wood have we got 10 that's not good um I'll tell you what, Alfred, we'll put you... Your second job can be plant cutting. So if we go here, chop as much wood as we can. Yeah, and then we can start uh, building sort of separate bedrooms. I think that would probably be a good good shout early on, right? Um, or maybe we should... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the bedrooms. I was going to say maybe we should build the base defences. But as I said, I don't think that's very important it's quite this early. Um... So the first bedroom, how big do we want the bedrooms? I suppose, sort of, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so six by five sounds rather promising to me. Um, I suppose we want to think about where would a fridge be as well. So if, we, if we're going to have a fridge, I guess we want them to haul the food from as close by as possible. So let's start making our plan here. Um... I kind of want it attached to the main building here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. And here would be a good place because we can't really grow on that, I'm guessing. Sand, yeah, you can't really grow on that. Cool, so let's make a plan and build our refrigerator. We build that one more down. One more down like so. And attach that sort of there. It's not perfect, I'm quite new to this planning stuff. And then we can have maybe a door right there, uh, so they can haul it, walk through there, put it inside there, and then the cooks, 
area can maybe be inside here. They can walk through there to the fridge. Uh, but maybe we'll need to double wall this. So let's drag that across like so. Yeah, and then get our little stove. Plunk that down in the corner. I think we're going to need a couple of chairs as well, or little stools. So we'll put one there in front of the oven and one there for Oz. Cool. Oz looks like he's researching quite well there. He's up to nearly 300. Good stuff, lad. And Ash and Crow, what are you doing? Sewing teak tree. Wow. You are very slow at sewing. And a psychic drone has come already. How wonderful. I'll tell you what. We probably need some light in here. Let's have a look. Insulted shared bedroom. Ain't without table. Aha. Yeah, definitely a table then. Right, so let's work on building our fridge first. We'll get that attached up there. We'll whack a wooden door in. We'll put it there. Then we may as well double wall this now before we go any further. And put a couple of doors there, like so. Okay, cool. So we've got one bedroom being built or constructed already. We want to put a door there. Uh, what else do we need? We've got the cook's place. I guess we need a separate area to store our stuff because we could make this like our production hub. Um, but I'm going to let them carry on building this first, I think. How much wood have we got now? 137. We've got two, just under 200 raw agave fruit. And I guess we need a cook now, but have we got anyone spare who can actually do that? Looks like Ash and Crow... Maybe the... Or maybe Reinstein. Yeah, Reinstein would be a better cook. So, we want to make Reinstein do that. And we'll get Ash and Crow to haul instead. Haul and... Oh no, clean and then haul, I think. And then Reinstein can come off of the handling. Yeah, that can be a second job. Okay, cool. Then we go here, set some bills. So we want some simple meals for now. And we'll do until we have X. So we've got five colonists. I think we'll get ten meals made. And then that frees Reinstein up to do another different job. Cool. Because we don't want to make too many in, in advance. Because indoor temperature here is 14 degrees. So the food may go bad. Looks like Ashen Crows getting really upset by that psychic drone. Eight raw food. Aha. I think it would please you, Ash and Crow, if you slept in your own bedroom. So let's reinstall that there. And we'll get Ash and Crow to need materials. Aha. So I believe Alfred Skips was in charge of plant cutting. Yes, he was. Good lad. There he goes. He's, oh, he's gone to go and cut some agave. Nice. Well, we need to keep up food production anyway. Now he's harvesting some raspberries. Alright, let's go and grab this oak tree, mate, so we can carry on with our construction. We need this door ready for Ash and Crow's new bedroom. There we are, and he's going to do it now. Great stuff. So Alfred Skips is really struggling as well. Eight raw food. Well, no longer will there be raw food, guys. We've got uh, simple meals. We also need a table. Which, I guess for now we could put it inside the fridge. Mm, but that's not ideal, not really. Mm, 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 mm. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will build a little room coming off here that will be my dining room. Ah, no. It would be better to have it coming off here, wouldn't it? So they go in there, get their food, then they walk somewhere else such as here and eat their meal so let's make like a let's make a rather lavish dining room a nice big one like this we can have a door there that needs to be double walled and that should work okay so food now gets stored in here let's create our stockpile and clear all of that. We want to make that raw food and meals. And I guess medicine too. That works for me. Okay, so no more does food get stored here. Let's clear that from there. 
and medicine. Splendifico. Okay, so that bed's now been moved. We wanted to give that to Ashen Crow. Wonderful, wonderful. And building is well underway. Oh yeah, I know what I would have wanted. I wanted like a light. We kind of need a light here. It's no good uh, trying to cook or research by darkness. That's not going to help anyone. Um, I don't want to go too fast here. I'm tr really trying to take my time because sometimes I tend to rush things and then that kind of means that I fail. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, got some berries. Hang on. They're not refrigerated. Yeah, they can't be. Uh, in terms of temperature, we could get a passive cooler. Looks like we're going to need that to get this down to 15 degrees. Now, in terms of the game, I don't know if 15 degrees compared to its current temperature of 26 degrees makes any difference to the length uh, of time that food stays good for. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, all our food is near enough planted. Good, good. And Oz is already wandering around sad. Yeah, the psychic drone is kicking my ass already. How lucky am I? Wow. Thanks, game. Yeah, we need plenty of wood. That's it, Alfred. Grab all the wood you can. Oz is wandering off, so no research is getting done. Reinstein was producing food, but that seems to have... Ah, no, the food's in there. Okay, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass sometimes. Ten meals. How long did they last? Three days. All right, that's fine. Oz is no longer wandering around in sadness. Pleased to see that. And Ash and Crow is stargazing. Oh, yeah, I should show you this. So... In terms of our work, jury, sleep balance, um, they're currently working, what's that, 4, 8, 12, 14 hour days with 8 hours sleep. You know what, I might give them an extra hour sleep just to try and keep moods high. Uh, our dogs have nowhere to sleep, or our cat. So we'll get a few little sleeping spots in here, put them right there. Uh, the psychic drone is ending, great, that's going to give us a little bit of a mood boost. Uh, oh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Lord Cucumber thinks that you should give it a community name. Uh, give this community a name. What should it be called? Stonkly? Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. What on earth do you guys think it should be called? Um, I think it should be called Rhiney's... Um, not Butthole. <laughs> um, Rhiney's Hole. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Just for shits and grins. Um... Yes, now, let me just remind myself, who's hauling here? So it's uh, Ash and Crow's constructing, so let's take him off that. So now he'll clean. Um, I guess we need some floorboards here too, although slightly concerned if there's a fire, everything's going to burn. Hmm. We need more wood. We need more wood, man. Come on. Cut the damn trees down. Where's, where's my boys gone? Ah, there he is. Alfred is cutting stuff. And we've got a rotting squirrel dying in our midst. Lovely. That is beautiful. Look at that. Food's going well. We need this passive cooler built. Because temperature in there is 20 degrees. 25 outside, though, so meh. Not too shabby. Ah, oh, nice. They're planting our trees. And I'm really looking forward to actually having a whole year-round growing period. That's... <laughs> Probably going to take away one of the biggest obstacles I had in the last game. I would have thought it was the temperature that would be worth, uh, the hardest thing, but it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. It was the, um, it was definitely the food issue. Remember when Randy decided, oh, I'll just give you a blight, a cold snap, and uh, all sorts during your growing season. I was like, oh, thanks. Uh, that sort of really helps me. Cheers, dude. You know what, while well, we've got a moment, Gonna double wall this entire structure here. Maybe expand that actually. Oh, that's probably gonna make it too big. Let's just build one more there. I know my base is not it's not gonna win any beauty contests, but uh, it's functional at the least. We can worry about beauty later, but for now, it's actually not too shabby. Yeah, and then we need to work work on some base defenses. So first of all, once we've got this up and running, I'll be happy. Yeah, so this is my dining room, so we need to actually have an area where we're going to haul our crap to. Um, so that means we need to decide where we're going to actually be uh, doing the production. So I think the nearest thing that we're going to be producing is um, 
stone stone block manufacturing. So that would mean we need to set up a stockpile for stone blocks. But where should we do it? I think we could basically move this stockpile. I'm not sure where though. Let's put it there like so. And oh no, hold on. Allow all and no meals, no raw food, and no medicine. Then we can delete that one. Then that'll free up some room for our stone block production. Then we can maybe put stone blocks sort of there. Or maybe we should put them there where we can't actually grow anything. Hmm. What's this? Rough sandstone. Now that would be quite handy actually. Let's make a dumping stockpile here. Yeah. And then Yeah, and then literally they will have let's make a plan here. Literally, if we have stone block production there, they can walk down there, grab that, and uh Yeah, that works for me. Cool yeah, this is turning out to be a rather excite well, not exciting, but you know. Well planned and well thought out episode. Who would have thunk Reinstein could think so well? <laughs> Especially under all the hassle that I'm under. Oh look, an eclipse. Splendid. And Lord Cucumber's gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Sorry, dude. They don't spoil for three days. That's not too bad. Um, Cucumber is now harvesting an oak tree. There's not actually that many trees around, you know. I might expand our growing zone so we have got a consistently consistent amount of trees there we go that means cucumber will go and start planting over there okay how you doing Oz on your research Harvey has gotten food poisoning from a squirrel corpse lovely oh cool Oz is nearly a third of the way through electricity research and we're now got some cargo pods all right guys it's time for the episode to end Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, been a good start. I will see you on episode two. Please join me. Bye-bye.